Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, or in fact just gentlemen and boys, as YouTube reliably informs me I have no female base whatsoever, kind of reminds me of school. Uh, this is another demonstration, or in fact this time a tutorial, uh, on how you can achieve a voice activated alarm system uh, as per my previous video. Um, so, without further ado, what you will need is the following things. You will need Vox Commando. Uh, sorry, just close that off. Uh, so Vox Commando is voice activation software for controlling XBMC, among other things, uh, written and coded by a genius named James, uh, who lives in Canada. Wonderful man, very, very helpful. Um, you will also need uh, iSpy, uh, which loads a bit more slowly. And you will need Event Ghost. Uh, so Event Ghost is completely free. Uh, I Spy is completely free unless you want uh, the advanced features, which you won't need for what I have achieved. Uh, and Vox Commando is fifteen pounds ish uh, and well worth every penny. Uh, buy the software. Buy the software. Buy the software. Very good stuff. Um, so the primary uh, requirement here for what we're trying to achieve is I Spy. iSpy is the software that connects to your webcam and detects motion and triggers things to happen. Uh, so it will basically record when there's movement and it will send an event to Vox Commando. When you first get it, you'll need to add your camera. It will just take you through a wizard, which I'm not going to show you. It's not really necessary, um, too easy. Uh, you'll get a video camera that looks a little bit something like this. Um, and you can then edit your video camera like so. Uh, so the point of editing it is to set up the motion detection. Uh, you're going to just set it up for pretty much all of the default things really. Uh, there are only two things I would bother changing under motion detection and that is the trigger range uh, most importantly. This bit you'll struggle to get right for a while. Um, it's awkward particularly if you have a room that has uh, different lighting conditions i.e. you might leave the curtains open one day uh, and might shut them another day uh, when you leave the house and therefore if your curtains are open one day you'll find it triggers when you don't want it to and then perhaps when you've got the curtains closed it won't trigger when you do want it to so getting this right is difficult uh, I tend to use TeamViewer to remote home from work whenever there's a trigger uh, and I'll alter the range accordingly so it's triggering when I want it to and not when I don't want it to. Uh, this section here, very very clever stuff, uh, you can say I only want to monitor this portion of the camera. Um, so you just drag a box around the area you want to highlight. Uh, under alerts, this is the only other thing you'll really need to change. Uh, you can leave everything as defaults but you'll need to set the execute file to be vox commando uh, in the folder that you've got Vox Commando in. Um, so mine's CVox, Vox Commando .exe. Uh, And the argument event and and camera dot motion or something similar, uh, which is going to be the event that is triggered when motion is detected. So all that happens is I spy detects motion, uh, it starts recording because I've got record on movement detection dotted there, and it alerts Vox Commando uh, as there under that argument. So I'll finish that off, I'll turn the camera off so it doesn't start triggering um, and I'll show you what I've got in Vox Commando. So what happened was I triggered it on purpose and a little event appeared in here and I used that event to create an action. So security clearance trigger, here's one I made earlier. So camera.motion appeared in here when I triggered it on purpose and I dragged it in like that. So security clearance trigger, I've put in the following actions. Set the volume of the PC to 15. Uh, stop listening to my voice for a moment. Uh, switch the main lights on in Event Ghost. Uh, text to speech, say, hello commander, please confirm security clearance within the next 10 seconds or the alarm will be triggered. Uh, start listening to me again. Uh, set a variable of alarm on true. I am not that clever, trust me. Uh, I didn't know what a variable was before I started talking to James about my little project. Uh, James helped me with the, the idea of a variable. Basically, it sets a little thing in the background that says uh, alarm on, flag as true. Um, and then I can have other things happen off the back of that. 
So I can have an event that says if alarm on equals true, then do X. If alarm on equals false, then do Y. Uh, so that's all that the variable does. Uh, set event timer in 15 seconds, do the intruder alert command. So basically those 15 seconds give me an opportunity to say switch the alarm off or whatever it is I want to use as my passphrase uh, and that will then set the variable to false uh, and therefore this one won't happen, uh, the alarm. So you can see it triggers intruder alert off the back of uh, that event timer intruder alert. So intruder alert starts these things happening. Uh, and here is my variable check. So it says if the variable alarm on is true, then do these things. And if it isn't, just do nothing. Um, so the alarm variable is set to true. So I'm going to set the PC volume to 25. Uh, I'm going to go rah, 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 I'm a scary computer and I'm going to scare you off, Mr. Burglar. Uh, and then I will send uh, an event ghost intruder alert uh, command. And so I'll just show you briefly, event ghost has this section here that I created which is intruder alert. So if I receive a broadcast intruder alert from Vox Commando, start the program send email, which I'll show you shortly. Uh, and this is the part that sends me an email to my Gmail account to tell me someone's in my bedroom. Uh, then play a horrible noise, go meh. Then switch the lights off, switch them on, switch them off, switch them on. Uh, so do as many things as possible to scare the burglar and send me an email, basically. Uh, otherwise, do nothing. So if the variable is true, do those things. If the variable is not true, don't do anything. Uh, so I've got this one here, which is turn the alarm off vocally and initiate welcome home. So if I say my um, command to switch the alarm off, then set the variable as false. Alarm on is false, and that's what me that's what makes the events not happen for scaring burglars. Um, and then trigger the event welcome back. Uh, so it plays a wave first. It plays a little uh, noise, which is the button press from um, Portal. If you've played the game Portal, so it plays the uh, the button press from Portal. It sets the variable to false and then it starts the event welcome back. The event welcome back looks like this. Set the volume at 15. Uh, say welcome home and all those other nice little things that make me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Uh, it then triggers the event uh, would you like the projector on. Uh, it waits for five seconds, disables the group motion detected. Uh, it stops I spy most importantly so it kills this window. Um, so it does that via event ghost as well. So I'll just quickly show you that. Stop I spy. Find window I spy exe close. Uh, Vox Commando is capable of doing these things, but are uh, are not as good at setting those things up. I came from event ghost before I learnt Vox Commando, uh, and I'm still yet to really figure it out properly. Um, it's just very simple to do in here. You can drag that to the window you want to close and press OK and then launch a close command. Uh, so that closes the window iSpy.exe. Uh, it then sends to event ghost switch the side lights on. Um, so as long as I say my security clearance within those 15 seconds uh, it will stop the horrible burglar alarm thing from happening and it will instead welcome me home, switch lights on and ask me if I want the projector on. So sorry, that's the last part isn't it? Uh, switch the projector on if true, would you like the projector on? Uh, these are things you can add to yourself really if you want to. So the other thing you're going to need in Vox Commando is something to actually set the alarm obviously. Uh, so I've kind of done things in reverse order to a degree. Um, so I have a shut it all down command uh, which basically sends a couple of things to event ghost to switch lights off and to do other things. Uh, text to speech will also say disengaging all applications see you soon uh, which of course makes me warm and fuzzy inside again. Uh, it will play uh, the acknowledgement wave which again is the uh, button press from the game portal. Uh, it will enable the group motion detected, um, so it enables the, the group that contains all the I spy stuff. Uh, it will set volume at 15 um, just in case the volume is set to anything else at that point. Uh, and the text to speech will then say setting alarm in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 5, 3, 2, 1. Uh, it waits for 10 seconds and all it does then is it literally just launches I spy. Um, and 
then has a command which is all on. Uh, so again this is something else James helped me with. Uh, he said basically if you just have a raw parameter thing which launches iSpy uh, but then you put a command line in there uh, which he'd found from the iSpy website which is all on uh, then it will switch all the cameras on. I only have the one camera. It done. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, so um, yeah Vox Commando is still listening to me obviously. Uh, and that's it really so that just starts iSpy uh, and the other command um, which you saw earlier was for Event Ghost to switch iSpy off, it literally just closes the window. Uh, my XML will be available to download uh, and it's up to you if you want to download it um, and then just follow my uh, steps or add my stuff in to your own tree or whether you want to try and start from scratch for fun. Um, I did find this very rewarding rather than fun, it was quite um, it made me quite angry for quite some time throughout this process but uh, it was rewarding at the end. If you don't like to be rewarded but you also don't like to be made angry just download mine and let me do the hard work for you. So final two things then you're going to want to be able to do. One is you want to be emailed uh, when there has been somebody alerted in your bedroom. Um, so whenever motion has been detected you want an email. Uh, so you could see in my Vox Commando commands it sends a, an event to Event Ghost at that point to say Intruder Alert. So in Event Ghost, if I receive Intruder Alert from Vox Commando, uh, then start the program Send Email. Uh, so Send Email is a program you can download again for free, um, and there you will get a folder called Send Email, and it will contain these things. This being the program. Um, if you double click it you'll see a black window appears and disappears, not very exciting. Uh, but if you send in some command line options at the same time it will uh, send email to your accounts with certain subjects and, and whatever. Uh, so again I'm not hugely clever, I just followed some tutorial on how to do that but I'll show you very quickly. Uh, basically you download send email, you've got the folder there uh, and all you need to do is have event ghost start that program with the relevant command line options. So executable is send email uh, and again you have to put in where that application is. For me it's in C colon backslash sorry forward slash send email forward slash send email uh, with the following command line option. So uh, the minus T is the two so to Paul is great at, at gmail.com. Uh, U, which is the uh, subject line, intruder alert. Uh, M, which is the text that is going to appear in the email. Alexander has detected an intruder. Uh, load Dropbox to see images. Uh, minus F is the username, I think. We can get it to move a little bit slower. I'll be able to tell you. Yep, username Paul is great at gmail.com. Actually, I think that's the from address. Uh, S is the SMTP server. So if you haven't got a Gmail account, you probably want one. Um, if you're going to use them, they're going to expect you to have an account. So smtp.gmail.com on port 587. XU, this is the username, sorry. Paul is great at gmail.com. XP, that's your password. Uh, I've just written your password is here. I didn't fancy giving you guys my password. Uh, so you put in your password in there uh, and that's it. It will send um, that email to your inbox whenever somebody is detected as moving uh, because it will have been alerted from iSpy to Vox Commando, from Vox Commando to Event Ghost and from Event Ghost to the send email program. Uh, sounds complicated. It isn't hugely. It works every time. Nothing ever seems to fail uh, because they're all very reliable programs. The other thing you're going to want iSpy to do uh, is to um, save the images and the video to a Dropbox account. So you'll need a Dropbox account or similar. Um, I think you can you can do the same thing with Google Drive. I found Dropbox to be a little bit better, uh, just easier laid out and easier to set up. Uh, and all you do is, of course, you need the camera set to uh, record when there's motion detection. Otherwise, it's not going to record anything. So record on movement detection and then in the settings of the program you just tell it that the storage is your Dropbox folder. Uh, so download Dropbox to your PC, uh, it will create you a directory 
uh, and you just put the directory in there. So I created one called intruder footage within Dropbox. That's it. Uh, so download my XML if you want, try and make your own if you prefer. Um, any questions just leave them in the comments. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, I hear that's what YouTube video gurus do is they ask their people to subscribe. Uh, so yes, please subscribe to me. <laughs> Uh, and like this video if you like it. If you don't, don't like it. I don't care. Thank you. I'll see you next time.